Hello, I'm Jackie. And I'm Camille. Welcome, Welcome to, to Two Studios, Studios Art, Art Channel. Channel. Hit like and subscribe to get our free demos and tutorials right to your inbox. Happy painting! Hello everyone. I'm Jackie from Two Studios Art. And today we're going to paint a 9 by 12 painting called Paint a Field of Flowers with an Underpainting. I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas panel and I'm using student quality Buzz Acrylic Paints from Opus Art Supplies. The brushes I'm using today are a one inch shader, a size 12 filbert, a small round brush, a palette knife, a small rounded palette knife, and a card. Any kind of plastic card will do. All right, let's get started. We're going to do a field of flowers with an underpainting. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush and start painting the sky area with some white. So I'm going to do it rather quickly. After I finish the underpainting, I will get out my hair dryer and dry it so we can carry on with our field of flowers. Okay, there's the sky. It's all white right now. I'm going to drop in a little bit of the, uh, the yellow, the cadmium yellow medium. So I'm using white, cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, primary red, magenta, ultramarine blue, and phthalo blue. Dropping in a little bit of yellow into the white. I'm going to clean my brush. And then I'm going to drop in a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of phthalo blue. Some more white. That's a little bit too bright. Too much pigment actually. So I'm going to add a little bit more white to it. And then blend it into the sunny part of the sky. Blend it into the sunny part. There we go. That sky is just a little bit brighter than what I would like. So I'm just going to tone it down with some white and blend it into the sunny part. Wiping my brush a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to bring the sky down into a little bit of a mauve color. So I'm going to do magenta with a little bit of the ultramarine blue and bring it down into a kind of a mauve -y sky at the bottom. And a little bit more color in there, a little bit more mauve sky there, sweeping it up a little bit. Now what I'd like to do is, I would like to put some sap green at the bottom, a rather deep earthy green. So in order to do that, I'm going to mix my cadmium yellow medium with my ultramarine blue and I'm going to add a tiny bit of red just to give it an earthy green. A bit of a darker earthy green because I'm going to have lighter grassy bits on top. So there's a nice dark earthy green. So just put that on and we'll brush it in. There we go. And then it's time to dry it so that we can go on to the next part of the painting. This is an easy little happy painting that you can do at home. So the idea is that you want the bottom to be dark to give a bit of depth when you're adding your, your flowers and your grasses. You want the, the bottom to be quite dark. So my, this side is not quite dark enough, so I've added a little bit more ultramarine blue. There we go. Now I'm going to wash my brush and then I'm going to blend the bottom into the top just a little bit. Okay. 
Just blend it in just a little. Wash my brush again. So I'm light lightening up the grass as it's getting closer to the sky. All right. Now, I'm darken this bit up a little bit. Adding the red to the green gave me a nice earthy green. But in a minute, we'll be mixing some brighter greens. All right. Now I want to take my hair dryer and dry it. There. I'm back now, and my canvas is quite dry, a little bit tacky, but it's that's good. Now I'm going to start mixing up a little variety of greens. Some will be light. Some will be a little bit blue, a little bit of a blue green. So we'll just mix a variety of greens. So I'm going to take my cadmium yellow light, my white, mix that up a bit. Then I'm going to add a little bit of the phthalo blue over here. Take some of this, add it in. And there I've got a kind of a, a bluey green. Now I'm going to make another green. This time cadmium yellow light. A little bit of the ultramarine, not very much. Mix that up. And I have a bit of an earthy green there. Add more yellow to lighten it up. And then I'm going to make another green. So I'm going to take the cadmium yellow light and just a very small, small amount of, there we go. That's a very yellowy, yellowy green there. And I'm going to take the cadmium yellow medium with the ultramarine blue and mix up another green. Add a little bit of the phthalo blue into it. And there's another green. So we have four different greens there. Might lighten this one up a little bit with some white. There we go. All right, so we've got four different greens now. Now I'm going to take just a plastic card, any kind of card will do, and I'm going to start making some, some grasses. So I put it into my paint and just do some swerving lines with my card to make a field of grass. And you'll be standing out a bit from the sap green that we did in the beginning. Be very exact in doing this. Just get a lot of greens down on top of your sap green base. This is to give you an impression of a field of grass, kind of blowing in the wind. Somewhat higher on this side to balance the light part of the sky over here. I'm mixing up the greens now, and that's all right. Beautiful grass. There's lots of greens. If you look out into the world, you'll see a myriad of greens. So many beautiful greens. There, that's giving the impression of a field of grass blowing in the breeze there. As you can see, we have a lot of greens. There we go. All right, that's good. I think that's enough. So much fun painting with a card though, you just, you don't want to stop. All right, now I'm going to mix up 
going to take my filbert brush and mix up a few blues. Get a little bit more white. I need a little bit more white. So we've got our sky, we've got our sap green background on the ground. Our underpainting is finished. Then we took a card and did some um, grasses. And now I'm going to start out with some blue flowers. Some of the flowers will be light blue with the ultramarine. And some of them will be darker. And just basically they're going to be little corn flowers here, there and everywhere. Some light some dark, just using your brush, making little dabbing movements, adding dark and light to make something that I like to think might be some little cornflowers. I'm using the two blues and white. to start our flowers. This is a field of mixed wildflowers. This little painting will go quite quickly and it dries quickly. There we go. A few little flowers flying through the air there. All right, now I'm going to take my magenta and white and make up a pink and get some lovely pink flowers in there. So we'll take the magenta, the white, and get some lovely pink flowers. I don't know what they are, but they, they could be any kind of wild pink flowers, maybe hollyhocks, maybe foxgloves. Just scatter them throughout our field. As you can see, we're building up layers now. Magenta and white. There we go. If you would like to add some peach colored flowers, you can get a lovely peach by taking your yellow medium with your magenta and white. And there you get a lovely peach color. That's a little bit dull. I'll mix that. I'll mix that again. Take the magenta, some yellow light for a change, and some white. It's a little bit dull. That's all right. They don't all have to be vibrant flowers. Just here, there, and everywhere. There. Our painting is really coming along now, and you'll find that it'll go quite quickly. Now I'm going to take my palette knife and mix white with my cadmium yellow medium. And start mixing in some tall flowers, kind of in a little triangular shape. wider at the bottom and then going up a bit. Gives us a nice little yellow flower to the field of flowers. So this is like a little triangular shape reaching up. And I'm just dabbing it with my, my palette knife. Don't know what kind of flowers these are. These might be hollyhocks too. They're tall flowers, so they're reaching up. All right, there we have it. Just a lovely little field of flower, a cheerful painting for you to do on a sunny day, on a rainy day. Any day painting is a good day. All right, now I'm gonna mix up a little bit of mauve 
with my filbert, my magenta, a little bit of ultramarine blue, a little bit of white. Mix up a mauve, lovely little mauve color, almost a periwinkle blue. Just adding some more flowers here, there, and everywhere to this field of wildflowers. Add a bit more blue to that. A bit more magenta. So it's a darker purple now. There. All right. Now I'm going to take my small round brush and add a few little flower, white flowers. And sometimes there's seeds floating in the air. So I'm just going to have a few little white seeds floating in the air. It could be dandelion seeds. I'm not sure. Just enjoy ourselves with paint. Here, there, and everywhere. Floating up, floating all around. Little tiny flowers or little tiny flower seeds. There's always going to be some. All right. Well, we're just about finished our little painting here. I hope you've enjoyed it today. I'm Jackie from Two Studios Art. I hope that you'll like us, subscribe, and get the videos. We have 11 now into your inbox. There we go. A field of flowers with an underpainting. I started with the sky. I went down into the ground with a sap green. Then we started adding with a plastic card. We started adding in the grasses, reaching up to the sky, blowing in the breeze, and then the flowers. Happy painting, everybody, and see you next time. Bye.